Okay. Um, I'm going to ask Jackie to set up uh, our seventh secret special uh, demo. Uh, but while we set that up, I'm going to ask my judges to give me their number three, their number two, and their number one startup from the section. Um, you saw Photokite, Topology, Traveling Spoon, Thimble, Megabots, and Bounce Imaging. You saw Photokit, Photokite. It was that drone on a string, yep. which I found fascinating. You saw Topology. You saw a Traveling Spoon. Um, you saw a Thimble. Megabots. And the Bounce. So, who can give me their number three and their number two? I can. <coughs> Go ahead, Dan. So, my number three is uh, Bounce Imaging. Um, I think there's a, a good market there. It's a narrow market, but it's a, it's a good market. Number two? Pay a lot of money. Number two is Thimble. Uh, that was the uh, yeah. at-home kit thing. Sure. At-home STEM kit, yeah, project yeah. kit. Who can give me their number three and two? Rachel, you ready? Yep. Number uh, three? We're in the same boat. Uh, Bounce Imaging, I think it's great that they're trying to serve that market. Uh, and then Thimble, same. Uh, I, I just think, given the STEM focus, this would be an awesome way to introduce kids. Okay. Danielle from Mattermark. Um, I also put Bounce Imaging as three and Megabots as two. Great. Eric. I put the glasses company as three. Uh, it's just unique. It's different, and they're they're you know they're solving the issue about the red nose problem. So, <laughs> and that's big. It's close to home. <laughs> um, I was a little nervous there when he was like, "You could have a hook nose." I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "Gonna stop, stop you right, right there, right pal." <laughs> 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 Welcome to San Francisco. Okay. Uh, um, and then Megabots too. Okay. Um, Another vote for Megabots. Strangely, somehow I don't know why. I, it's it, going to tap out, but it feels like it's going to work. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. It feels like it could work. And he's, um, Freakishly into it, mm -hmm. so <laughs> it's, it's contagious. Yeah. I feel like we live in the future, and that science fiction is now not fiction anymore. Like we're going to go to the Staples Center or Oracle Arena to watch robots fight. Yeah, Dana okay. White, Dana White, Stop UFC, it. and you know. it seems normal. It's like our childhoods have become reality. Go ahead, Nico. Right, so uh, number three, Thimble. Okay. Number two, Traveling Spoon. I would use this if they manage, you know, to scale. Um, yeah. People can make money. Nico, what's your number one? Number one is Megabot, because uh, I think VR is becoming huge now because everybody's trying to escape from reality, given where we are today. Yep. And that guy, oh my God, you know, he is <laughs> as authentic and as insanely paranoid about his craft as it possibly gets. The enthusiasm is in fact hard, you know, not to see that set from up. everywhere. No, I do it think up. that it can be a, a live entertainment brand. I, I do agree. agree. <laughs> I know. I agree. Okay, well, who's your number one? Uh, Megabots up. is number one. Set uh, it up I to demo. believe this. Dan he's going to be like Dana White of UFC or that Vince McMahon of WWE. At first, I, I thought this was a it. mechanical robot thing that people would buy, but no, 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 that's not it. It's all about entertainment. Okay, so you picked? Megabots. Megabots. Okay, Megabots running away with it, okay. Who else hasn't given their number one? Photokite for me, and. Why? I, well, just because it's pretty, he's mitigated out some of the regulatory issues. And so for drones, uh, a lot of, well, from my standpoint, a lot of the problems are, you know, are they gonna be legal? Uh, you know, will the FAA allow them to be flown where you, where you want, to be, want them to be flown? And he seems to have uh, regulated it out. Sure, it's, it's um, limited, but mm -hmm. it seems to be quite usable. Uh, and, you know, some of the, you know, he's gotten big customers and he's got, you know, real revenues. So. It also seems like by taking the power and the battery out of the drone, the drone now is super light so it won't kill you if it falls on your head. And the power is coming from the ground, so if you put that on your, the roof of your building and you wanted security at your building, you could fly it all night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or fly it every 15 minutes to take a photo to just, or if, if a motion sensor goes off, fly it up, take a picture for an hour, and then yep. land it. Pretty clever, I agree. 
Who's your number one, Danielle? My number one is Traveling Spoon. Uh, I mean, I always think about marketplaces, it's very difficult, but the thing I noticed is I would love to be a host, and I think wanting to be on the host side is really going to be crucial for them. Um, I could totally see myself using it. I think a guaranteed experience in another country you've never been to, where you make a personal connection, is super desirable. I travel a lot and stay in Airbnbs, and just kind of feels like a piece of that uh, same guaranteed experience in any country would be amazing. Uh, okay, Rachel, your number one? Megabots. I usually pick the thing that's my favorite, but I think this is just the one that's just destined to win. I can see myself going, even though I'm not their target audience in the slightest. I know that you're particularly interested. I know your favorite is probably Bounce. Just because of all the legal paperwork, that's going to that's gonna just rack up the legal bills. <laughs> They're like, yeah, sure, come over. Okay. Um, I'm not going to dismiss you just yet. I, you know, we have a big spirit here in uh, San Francisco, the technology industry, that we love the hustler. And we always say this conference is the most open conference in the world ever created in our business. We let 10,000 people come for free. We let the 140 companies present for free, have demo pits, all this stuff, free, free, free. Uh, Wilson helps us pay the bills. Thank you for that. Um, we always chip in together. Um, and uh, I got like seven tweets. Hey, there's this guy outside with a spray paint robot. And so... I just thought he kind of hacked the demo pit. He made it the Palace of Fine Arts pit. And uh, I don't know who you are. Can I have a handheld microphone? And let's uh, take a look at what you built. So from outside of the, how many people saw it outside? Yeah, look, now there's some hustling going on. Uh, check, check. What's your name? Uh, my name is Michael. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Estonia. Estonia. Uh, you want to turn it around and show people how it works? Do, do you live here or you came in just for the event? Uh, we just came uh, last week. And you're an artist or a technologist, a hacker, both, all? Uh, my, uh, my profession is that I'm an inventor, uh, but uh, I, uh, I uh, live very much in the world of street art, and there's, that is where I, I got the idea to, to make, make this. What do you call it? It's called spray printer. Spray printer. Spray printer. <laughs> two, words. Two, two words, spray printer. Okay, show us how it works. Uh, so uh, this is the device. It, uh, it attaches to a normal spray can. And uh, uh, there's an LED right on top. Uh, so uh, the uh, smartphone uh, has to stand on the tripod and uh, uh, it... Uh, track the LED. On the other hand, we have this mobile application where we currently have uh, put a beautiful picture of a portrait. Uh, now, if I face the camera towards the canvas, we'll see uh, how it works. It's behind you, too. Okay, so you place the camera. And then you have a spray paint can with an LED and some sort of device that pushes the button of the spray paint can. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I keep uh, this uh, uh, trigger pushed down, and whenever it's pushed down, then it uh, automatically shoots paint wherever needed. So you, have to, you can have no talent and create street art. Well, the idea is that, uh, yeah, you can print any image, but uh, ideas, they come from you. And if you, if you have good ideas, then you, yes, also can be a good artist with this device. So as he is moving it, it's shooting paint when it needs to. Yeah, exactly. The LED is uh, turning, uh, burning, and, uh, and the camera tracks the movement. Got it. So the camera's watching the LED, and then it tells it, hey, now you should be putting some paint on the canvas. This, yeah. is, a, this is pretty clever. How long did it take you to build it? Uh, well, we have developed uh, it in, uh, in Estonia, where we are from, uh, a year and a half. Mm. Uh, by that time, uh, we have uh, uh, built the first uh, technical prototypes, uh, shipped them to 46 different countries to get uh, feedback, to get to know how people actually would like to use that kind of technology. And, uh, well, when we came to San Francisco, we had two, uh, two main goals. The first one, to see how we fit this community, how can we build up our company big here, and the other one was to make uh, other Estonians jealous. <laughs> um, you're going to fit right in. 
<laughs> awesome. Two out of two. Two out of two, correct. Um, how will this make money in the future? Uh, of course, um, well, we are a hardware company. Uh, we built the hardware. We want to sell this as, uh, as, uh, with as big a margin as possible. Uh, but we see that uh, what uh, builds the com uh, company up is the community behind it, the people who use this, who use this every day. They share content, they buy paints, etc. Judges, any questions or feedback? Can you get this into the White House? I know somebody who would love to use it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we know that there are at least two American presidents that have been printed already. Uh, one of them is Abraham Lincoln. Uh, actually, I can show how that one turned out. Uh, it's, um, I made this uh, photo when I first came to America. You didn't have the new president yet. You had the election the other day, the next day. Looks great. So I printed an older uh, president. Uh, Good choice. Abraham Lincoln, Good. and uh, and we know that uh, there has been uh, a printing uh, somewhere else, uh, but uh, we don't know anything about that. Oh, oh, are you saying that people might be able to use this to spray paint on canvases that they do not own? There is possibility, of course. Let's take another question. Any more feedback from our judges? High fives. I saw you outside. This is great. I'm really proud of you for getting in. Uh, all right, listen. I don't know if it works. I don't know who you are. <laughs> However, I'm going to invite you to, at a minimum, to audit the next incubator class, which means you get to come to all 12 classes and get the entire experience for free. Hey. So you've been accepted, provided, provided that there is nothing funky going on here. <laughs> I might invest in it. Um, there's probably no chance that Trump will let you in the country. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But if that doesn't happen in time, you can go, rem you go to Toronto and just attend remotely. I'll get you a, a video conference in. But uh, in all seriousness, it, it is actually unique and fascinating. There is obviously a market for this, and it's not people looking to uh, vandalize. It's for people who are interested artistically to, to make fun art and to do it in a very creative way. I, I commend you on your hustle, your ability to get on this stage, and uh, to make all your friends in Estonia absolutely jealous. We're going to clip this video for you to send to them tonight. Congratulations. All right? Congratulations. Very well done.